Okay, in a sharp turn, but actually it's more uh, related to Dipshika when she, asked, she was asked, she said, maybe it will al the wearable technology will alarm about something that happened to the person. So <clears throat> the main question we asked in this project that took uh, three years, and actually I can only show very tiny, minute part of it in this presentation, is how can design and design thinking process can help save lives in a battlefield, wearable technology in a bat battlefield. I would like to present a project we have been working for the last almost three years together with Israeli Defense Force Medical Corp. With me, doc Major Dr. Ariel Hirschhorn, who just came in the last minute. Where are you? Hi. And um, with, of course, a, a, a team from the Technion, from my lab, Jonathan Ben Chaim, who was escorting the first, with his uh, thesis actually, the first uh, phase of the project, uh, Guni Kaufman, who helped us at this phase, Dimitri Tra Stravitz, and Ofer Berman, who is running this experiment right now. So, combat. Casualty care is conducted under the harshest conditions by several echelons of care. This is the reason why approximately 90% of combat-related deaths occur prior to the casualty reaching a medical treatment facility. And that as much as 24% of death on the battlefield. They are cut character, characterized as potentially survivable. So this term means that approximately one out of four combat-related deaths in the battlefield could have been prevented. However, knowing that fact doesn't mean that we can actually reduce mortality. Despite the major technological and medical treatment advancement, Achieved in the last 20 years, measuring death rates of battlefield casualty mortality remained the same around average of 15%. Recent studies conducted by the US military reveal that data might play a crucial future role in this increasing battlefield survivability. But what is the connection between data and survivability. I want to introduce Dr. and Major Ariel Hirschhorn, if you can join me, who is my partner in the project from the Army. And my question is, what is the challenges faces a combat doctor? Hi, thank you. Come uh, here. Okay. Thank you for the question. Uh, we, we found that the uh, at the medical theater, there are four main challenges. The, the first one is to triage or prioritize treatment. Uh, the second is to take care or uh, give combat casualty care to the wounded. <clears throat> the doctor has to call for evacuation because he's the only one that uh, knows the status of the casualty. So, and the casualty has to uh, uh, get the, the, the final treatment or the definitive treatment in the hospital and it needs to uh, collect crucial data which will help save the casualty's life. So let's see how in 2019 data is captured and transferred medical corps all over the world. A paper form. It's ridiculous, yeah? But this is what a, a paramedic or a, a, a combat medic should feel inside a battlefield. A recent study conducted in U.S. military, only 7% of military casualty, which qualified pay perform. A similar study conducted in the IDF found that the reporting rate during Operation Protective, uh, Protective Edge, uh, the last operation, was only 11%. My daughter is a paramedic, is sitting here. She came after this operation and said, you know, very, very few were filled. Actually, it's 11, it's more, 
it's more like 5%, but 11 is with uh, those helicopters who take uh, the casualties to the hospital, so they grew into 11, but actually it was much less. Okay. We aim at developing a database technological solution which will provide an effortless means for achieving the four consequential efforts and assist the combat casualty care and will aid reducing battlefield mortality. And I call this concept, the first way I called it, it was the supermarket thing. You know, you take something and then pick, you do a pip, and you don't use touch screen or whatever. And the second one was black box. So what you see here is one of the first attempt into it. We call it uh, uh, Blade Shield 101. And it is a whole ecosystem which harness emerging technologies, Internet of Things, near field communication, cloud-based data. And our challenge was the lack of Internet communication during war. Electronic warfare is part of the modern combat theater, interfering with our ability to use web for the purpose of data transfer. How can we transfer data from the point of injury to the hospital without a web? We can use the one thing that is transferred between the echelons of care, the casualty itself. If we can place the data on the casualty, it will transfer through all the echelons of care and will assist the medical <coughs> teams in real-time life-saving efforts. So Blaze Shield, which, which is placed on the casualty by the medic, creates a crucial information, vital signs from sensors placed on the casualty and treatment given, like everything that was given to the casualty, in real time. So this is a... It's not a real uh, injured. It's a, an experiment we're doing with the project. This is a, a demo we did with um, a sticker to the body. Actually, later on in this experiment, we found out because of the sweating, it doesn't stick sticks to the body, so we transfer it to another concept. But what we can, what we found out that the data transfer from the body to um, a smartphone and back into the black box, what we saw we saw here, is uh, transferring the exact data to the next station. So we have the data. Uh, and we can see here, we have information on the black box that gathered from several instruments, wirelessly connected to monitors of like pulse and other things, capture vital signs, and treatment given. We also uh, use data like this number displayed in the casualty unique idea to prevent mix-up during treatment. The color indicates the casualty severity status. Red symbolizes urgency. This data is automatically generated from the vital signs created by the monitor. And we could see everything on a smartphone. The next echelon of care data is turned into valuable knowledge as the senior medic and physician place their Android device on the battlefield. Play chills. You can see it here, and then you can see it in the animation here. In this project, we, we use the, <coughs> uh, the profession of Hanan Leher, who teaches here UX UI. So we have several cards, casualty card, casualty data, information on the data, and evacuation, 
And we also, this information then, at real time, is translate, translated into decision support. The combat doctor based in his clinical decision on real time data, hence increasing his ability to save lives in the battlefield. So it doesn't, not, it doesn't interfere with the ability to perform field operation. This is a picture from a drill we had placing chest uh, drainage. And there is a continuity of care. It's flexible, it's lightweight, it's inexpensive, it's fast and intuitive to operate. Thus, it was easy to implement in the harsh combat theater comprehensive digital information including location of the event, nature of the event, severity of the injury and evacuation sequence was recorded. And these pictures was taken two days ago from another exercise. That's, uh, thank you very much. This is the last. <laughs> Any questions? Now, like a lot of extreme uh, technologies that started from army uh, needs, uh, a lot of uh, medical equipment that we use today came from actually military technology. I believe that this technology uh, can shift also into uh, civilian uh, needs. Um, but this is the next project we will, we will have. Thank you.